Hello, so I'd like to talk briefly about 19-year-old Toyin Salu, who was 19 years old, and she lived in Tallahassee, Florida, okay? And she went missing on June the 6th. Her friends last saw her at a George Floyd protest. She leaves, and sometime after she left that protest, she starts tweeting that a man that appeared to be in his 40s had offered her shelter. And she said that she had told that man that back in March, she had been sexually assaulted by a man from Ghana. And she said that even though she had told that man that, and, and she thought that this man was a man of God, she thought that he was honorable, She's 19. She didn't know any better. She thought he was honorable. He offers her shelter only to sexually assault her. And she said the sexual assault, like it, it happened on June the 6th. She's tweeting that she was only able to escape once he fell asleep. She said this was a black man that appeared to be in his 40s. She gave a description of his vehicle. She gave a description of the apartment building that he took her to. So her friends are looking at this on Twitter and they're like, oh my goodness, where are you? Um, you know, we're, we're going to contact the police for you. So they start, you know, adding the Tallahassee Police Department. Like, hey, did, do you see our friend's Twitter feed? We can't find her. She can't describe where she is. Can you please help us find her? The thing is, she was 19. So they had to, like someone from her family would have had to report her missing. Now the date on the missing persons poster that the Tallahassee PD has posted on their Twitter page, I believe it's from June the 9th. And on that poster, they described her as 5'7", 120 pounds, um, visually impaired, but able to see, and said she had last been seen on June the 6th. I have questions. I want to know when her family reported her missing. You know, did they, did they wait the 24 hours that you have to wait for an adult? Did they immediately go to the police station? Is it possible that because of the nature of what she was tweeting, that maybe she would have been considered to be an adult that was in an endangered predicament? And so maybe the police could have started their investigation sooner. Like what what happened with that? The reason I have this question is because Toyin was missing for four days before her brother posted anything about her disappearance on his Facebook page. She was last seen on June the 6th. He doesn't post anything about it on his Facebook page until June the 10th. If this is your baby sister who'd been missing and the last thing that anyone heard from her was that she had just been sexually assaulted, what took you four days and why were you in the comment section of that post, which was a public post, by the way, okay? But why were you in the comment section of that post suggesting that, oh, you think she's fine, she just needed a little time away, but she'll eventually return? Why was that your line of thinking after your little 19-year-old sister is tweeting that a 40-year-old man had just raped her and what was your family dynamic that she was seeking shelter on june the 6th after leaving the george floyd protest why couldn't she just come back home with her family what was that family dynamic that at one point she sought refuge and shelter in a church she tweeted about it a few months ago. She was staying in a church because of what she described as unsafe living conditions at home. What were those living conditions? 
What was the situation that Toyin felt like she couldn't go back home? Huh? See, I need answers to those questions before you people co come out here with the collection plate, aka the GoFundMe, asking for donations. Because why weren't you there to protect 19 year old Toyin? But now you're trying to profit off of her death. Because it's, it's been reported that she was found. They found her body. Why couldn't she go back home? Why did you not immediately feel worried and run to the police department after, she, after you see these tweets? Then when the brother posts on June the 10th that, hey, his sister is missing, a young lady comes into the comment section and she's like, somebody's signing into her WhatsApp account. Were you not, did, did you not have a connection with your sister? Did you not have her WhatsApp? You know, were you not looking at what was going on with, the social media activity or any other apps to see whether or not someone was logging in from her phone. Like what was that about? Something. Something is, is very odd here. A, why was she alone at that protest? Why weren't, her older adult family members there to protect her given the fact that she was so petite and the fact that she was dealing with a visual impairment. She seemed to be um, a very young and trusting girl, okay? What, what was she dealing with at home that she felt more comfortable Seeking shelter with strangers at church. And where she needed a place to stay on June the 6th. And is seeking shelter. And and her guard is, is down so low. That she felt more comfortable seeking shelter from a random man that presented himself. As what she described as godly and Christian. Why did she feel safer doing that than going home? What was going on in that household? See, that's what I need answers to before people start talking about GoFundMe donations. Because why wasn't Big Brother concerned after seeing his little sister tweeting about being sexually assaulted? It, is it one of those misogynistic families that hears young women and girls talk about sexual assault and assume that it's not true? Because you do have a lot of families, a lot of black families will do that. I'm just saying, because I don't, I don't need to see another black family paraded out here. Crying and acting like they love this young black woman family member that is, has been reportedly sexually assaulted and is deceased without you explaining why you weren't there to protect her, especially because she was only 19 years old. She was an adult, but she was a baby adult. She wasn't old enough to be out there having to fend for herself. Absolutely not. Based on what social media is showing, um, she was a college student. She also did hair. So she was an enterprising young lady. She did braids and other hairstyles. You know, so she was doing that in addition to being in school, in addition to being apparently very concerned about social causes. So she seemed to be trying to be an upstanding young lady. Where was her family? 
And why was she in Florida on the streets of Tallahassee seeking shelter instead of knowing that she could go home and be safe? I need to know the answers to those questions. And I think and hope that more black women will start asking questions along those lines so that this family doesn't get to profit from this girl's death when they weren't there to protect her.